world leaders this weekend met at the G7 summit which took place in Cornwall. The Group of Seven, known as the G8 before Russia's membership was suspended in 2014 discussed global political discourse with tackling the coronavirus pandemic and vaccine inequality high up on the agenda. There were ambitious pacts made on the climate, with the UK and several European nations, the US, Canada and Japan, having jointly committed to leveling out their respective carbon emissions. Brexit was a sticking point, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson and France's President Emmanuel Macron clashing over details of the Brexit agreement like the Northern Ireland Protocol. Mr Johnson also came nose to nose with leaders like Mrs Merkel and EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, both of whom he has previously called out. While serving in the Foreign Office under Theresa May in 2019, Mr Johnson was accused of making a string of controversial comments about his European counterparts during Brexit crunch talks. The remarks were reported by Financial Times journalist Philip Stevens, who claimed Mr Johnson made comparisons between the EU and Nazi Germany, and how these had destroyed trust between EU leaders and himself, then touted as becoming the UK's next leader. He was reportedly heard asking aides whether Mrs Merkel was in Communist East Germany's Stasi police. Mr Stevens wrote, at the Foreign Office Johnson, was heard to muse as to whether Chancellor Angela Merkel had served in East Germany's Stasi secret police. French President Emmanuel Macron was a jumped-up Napoleon. As for Ireland's, former, Prime Minister, Leo Varadkar, YISNT he called Murphy like all the rest of them. He added that such jibes find a way back to foreign capitals. Mr Johnson has never commented on the claims. Mrs Merkel grew up in East Germany during the Cold War. In 2005, she became the first chancellor to have come from the country's east. Later on, she recalled, according to the Daily Telegraph, that the Stasi approached her after an interview for a job as a scientific assistant at the Technical University in Ilmenau. After the interview, she was shown to a room where she was expecting to claim her travel expenses but a Stasi officer was waiting for her. Speaking in the German chat show Erd on Ard in 2009, she noted, I said very quickly that it was not something for me. A number of East German politicians had in later life come to grief, the publication said, after Stasi files identified them as former informants. Mrs. Merkel said she had planned a response if ever asked to work for the secret police, that she could not keep quiet. She said, that was it then because silence was a basic condition. Meanwhile, during the G7 summit, Mr. Johnson appealed for compromise on all sides in the increasingly bitter dispute with Brussels over trading arrangements in Northern Ireland. Despite threats from Brussels last week of a possible trade war, Downing Street insisted the talks in Cornwall with Mr. Macron, Mrs. Merkel and Ms. von der Leyen had been constructive. However the Prime Minister's official spokesman said there was now an urgent need to find radical changes and pragmatic solutions to enable the protocol to function effectively.